Okay, if you're about to graduate PT school, or maybe you've been out for the past year or so, I guarantee this question has crossed your mind. How do I make more money as a physical therapist? In today's video, I'm gonna share three ways to hack your physical therapy salary. Hey, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Tim Fratticelli. I'm a physical therapist, and on this channel, we love talking about physical therapy career, and today, we're talking turkey, cash money, greenbacks, dead presidents, and my favorite, bringing home the bacon. Why does everything come back to bacon? We're talking about how to hack your physical therapy salary, and if you're curious in knowing how much a physical therapist makes in general, you can take a look at that video there, but if you're not quite happy with the 60 or $70,000 a year you're making as a new grad physical therapist, especially if you have over $100,000 a year in student loans, that salary is just not gonna cut it. So this first salary hack is all about finding PRN jobs, and PRN stands for pro renata, which loosely translates to as needed. Now these can be short-term opportunities to fill in for someone who's taking an extended leave or just to cover a position while they're trying to find a full-time person to fill that role at a clinic or a hospital. And the nice thing about these PRN jobs is that you can earn a significantly higher rate than you would if you worked there as a full-time employee. For example, while the average physical therapist may earn between $35 and $40 an hour in an outpatient setting, I've seen therapists who earn $60 an hour or more working on a PRN basis. And to be honest with you, that's about the rate that I make working as a PRN therapist here in Michigan. Now here's the thing, it's unlikely that you're going to find a long-term 40 hour a week PRN position because it's just really expensive for an employer to pay that much, but it is not uncommon to work two or three PRN positions locally filling in at a hospital and other clinics for 50 or $60 an hour. And, and there's a lot of ways that you can do this. For example, you can work in the home health setting and then earn a high rate of pay uh, just on your home health salary. And then you have the flexibility to move your visits throughout the week if you need to take advantage of an opportunity to fill in at a local clinic. So that's a great way to take advantage of PRN positions as well by having a flexible job like home health uh, to start and then fill in with other PRN positions. Now, some of the new graduates might say, well, Tim, I've seen PRN positions post but they want a year of experience. And a lot of times that's the case, but if you're a local therapist who starts your career working part-time or even full-time in an outpatient clinic and or even a home health setting, I think you're gonna find a lot of opportunities to connect with those clinic managers who are local to you, who would love to have you work on a PRN basis even if you don't have a full year of experience yet. A lot of new graduates who work a part-time position make good relationships with the clinic managers, and if new positions come up, full-time or even PRN positions, they're happy to consider them even if they don't have a full year of experience yet. The second salary hack is to try travel PT. Now, there's a common misconception that you need to work for a couple of years in order to become a travel physical therapist, and that's just incorrect. You'll have groups like Med Travelers and Advanced Travel Therapy. They offer opportunities for new graduates to start their career in travel therapy right away, earning from what I've seen up to two times what you could earn as a full-time outpatient therapist. If you have $100,000 or $150,000 in student loans, this is going to be one of the best ways to hack your salary and to pay off those loans as fast as possible. I think you'd be surprised with the opportunities with travel therapy because sometimes travel jobs open up in clinics that are local to you, so you don't really have to travel that far to take advantage of the opportunities of travel therapy and higher pay. If you're curious, you can see the travel opportunities in the description below and even get a little bonus when you sign up through the PT Pro progress links, which is kind of like another salary hack in itself. Okay, the third way to hack your PT salary is to look for opportunities to maximize your work hours on weekdays and weekends. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, a lot of clinics are not gonna be happy with this one, but I'm gonna tell you anyways, because I'm not happy with you having $100,000 or $150,000 in student loans. That needs to go away as fast as possible. So if you're trying to pay down your student loans as fast as possible, one of the best ways you can do this is through weekend work, whether that's as a weekend home health therapist or working as a weekend skilled nursing facility PT or assisted living facility. The fact is that you can make a lot more money working on the weekends and in working two or three weekends a month, there's no doubt in my mind that you could earn an additional three to $4,000 a month. But here's where your clinic is not going to be really happy with me because after about six months to a year working your regular nine to five, five day a week job in your clinic, if you find an opportunity to work a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, or even a Saturday, Sunday, Monday weekend job somewhere, then my recommendation is that you jump on that opportunity and then you go to your employer and you request a change in your schedule. The chances are that they're going to want to work with you because they don't want to lose you and incur the cost of hiring a new employee. And so they may listen to your request to shift your hours around. 
Maybe it's working a half day on Friday so you can work the afternoon at the skilled nursing facility or, or the home health group. Maybe they're okay with you changing your schedule to work four 10 hour days in the clinic, which is something that I did when I first started working in the outpatient setting. And then I added a Friday, Saturday, Sunday home health job where I earned an additional 25 to $30,000 that year. The point is that opportunities are all around you and sometimes we need to make a little change to the hours you have in your current setting in order to take advantage of the opportunities to hack your salary because no one else is going to hack it for you. Unless your current clinic is willing to take on your $100,000 or $150,000 in student loans, don't feel bad about making a change to your hours or finding ways to hack your physical therapy salary by cutting days at that clinic and picking up more days in a home health setting or at a skilled nursing facility. You have every right to hack your salary to make more money and to pay off your student loans as fast as possible. Those are just my thoughts. I'm curious to know what your thoughts are about hacking your physical therapy salary. Leave a comment below and if you found this video to be interesting, give it a like. It really helps the channel and I'll see you in the next video.